All right, so after you've resized this, let's say that you want to resize some other image that you've brought in. So if we go to open and we go to the data that we, we originally had. So for example, if I go to, oh, let's say that one, then I can open up the MTL file. And I can see this one did not, I did not choose this one very well. And how do I know that? Because this is over here and that one's over there. So that doesn't help me. So that's not a very good image for me to use. So I might have to go back and get a new one. So if that one didn't work, let's see if this one is, and that one's not, this one's not unzipped. So I can just go to my raw files, make sure that I unzip it. So just as a quick reminder, I can right click, 7-zip, extract files, and I'll extract them. take a couple minutes to, to do so. So you have to unzip the .gz first and then you can apply it to the .tar. So those are two different kinds of compression. So once it's done there, double click, and we can see that the, that the, the raw file there, there. So this is the, top, the, the dot tar, and there's my MTL file. So I can go back here, and I can see that it started to show up, and I can do that. And let's just see if this one is in the right spot. There we go. So now this one's in the right spot. So we can, I'm going to pull that over. Let's say I want to resize this particular image. So I go to resize and I can type out, for example, resize raster. So we can resize. Now it's going to ask, it has a whole bunch of information here. I have two different files that are open. You can see all of this. So I know that the top one here is my new one that has not been resized. So I'm going to keep that highlighted. And then I am going to go to spatial subset and I'm going to subset by raster. So this is the one that I have already resized. So I highlight my resize and I press OK and it finds exactly that location that I was working with already. So the nice thing about this is that I can apply this the same thing. I don't have to try to sit there and mess around and try to figure out where exactly the previous one was. And I can apply it to all of my little databases here. So I press OK and this one is from 2020, 2020. So I can go here. I'm going to go to my resize. Go October 2020. Like so. Save. And then OK. And it will resize that one. And now I have two images that are exactly the same on the same location from each other. Now, in this case, there's like, I think that they're the same image. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, so that's how you can cut out the exact same location every time. So um, from that, that's resizing. That works for both Landsat 8 and Landsat 7 and Landsat 1 through 5. So you can apply the same method to all of them.